Hello everyone and welcome to today's IP Insights on Design Protection in Europe. My partner Pascal Böhner and I will give you a quick update on the requirements of design protection for products with technical functions. Thanks Philippe, but before we speak about design protection, we should probably speak about the design of your hair. You look different, what happened? Well, that's what some people call a pandemate, long hair due to the fact that hairdressers have been closed for months now. But I can see that you nicely solved that problem. Maybe an option for me too? Well, I don't know whether it's an option for you, but I use one of these, which is pretty simple. Mm -hmm. So um, I think this is actually a good example for what we're talking about. It's an electric razor, which of course has a lot of technical features, but it is also an appealing and nice design. And we know that brands putting these on the market, they take a lot of effort to create an appealing, distinctive product. So could this be protected? Definitely, yes. In short, the appearance of a product can be protected as a design if it is new and has individual character. So looking at your razor, this basically means that it has to look sufficiently different from earlier razors on the market. There's no threshold of creativity like we know from copyrights, for example. EU and German case law are full of interesting examples regarding products that are rather not known for being typical design objects. For example, wire connectors, shower drains, paper dispensers and ground anchors may be eligible for design protection. Nevertheless, German and EU design law, as in other jurisdictions, provide for an exception according to which a design shall not subsist in features that are solely dictated by the technical function. So looking at your razor again, the cutting knives are technical. Sure. But the product as a whole and maybe even certain portions of the product may be qualified to be protected as a design, for example, the shape and the surface ornamentation of the handle. Yeah, that's interesting. So. It's the legal perspective on design follows function, I would say. We need to look where is technical functions only and where does the design start. Exactly. The technical function cannot be protected as a design. This can be of particular relevance when you have a product that is subject to patents, but certain embodiments shall also be protected as a design. Today, IP right holders have recognized the power of designs they're easier to get, they're faster to enforce. And looking, for example, at EU designs, you may obtain a EU-wide injunction with one single court decision. Yes, and the problem in these cases is only that where you have a patent and a design for one specific product that infringers often raise the so-called technicity defense, saying your product is not eligible for design protection or at least the scope of protection should be narrowed because you have a patent. So the patent is an indication that it's only technical. And that is something very often raised, but we have this new case we wanted to talk about, the so-called Papierspender or paper dispenser decision of the German Federal Supreme Court, saying that the mere fact that you have a patent is not as such enough to say it's only technical. So even if you have a patent and a design, that still means that you can have an enforceable, strong design to act against infringers. Indeed, it's very good to see that the court confirmed that a patent is not necessarily a red card for design protection. And it's fully in line with the considerations in the famous Dockeram decision of the European Court of Justice in 2018, basically stating that you have to take into account all objective circumstances in order to determine whether a developer only wanted to achieve a technical function when creating the appearance of the product. So patents are just one of many relevant factors. Yes, and on top of that, you need to look what is design, what is creation, and then you can get protection. So we would probably say that decision together with the ECJ decision strengthens the position of design owners or design rights owners and is a good sign for us and for our clients to enforce those rates even if you have a patent. So think about both designs and patents. I agree. Developers should always consider to also protect their products by way of designs. So it's all about knowing your options. Talking about options, would you please help me and demonstrate the technical features of this product on my hair? Well, if you really want to, we can do this, but maybe we switch off the cameras first. For any other new developments, take a look at our website and our social media channels. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.